everybody, welcome back to Superstar Sophie and today I'm going to be showing you how to do gymnastics. One of my fourth video, I, th I think it, one of my first videos, I think it was four, it got a lot of views so I'm going to be doing a, another one like that on how to do gymnastics because I've learned more tips and tricks. Now let's get on to the video. Alright, so let's get started. So for a cartwheel, we will be starting off like this. Lots of people will start off like this and then go like that. That's not how you do it, but you can do it like that if you want to, if you're landing. But the proper way of doing it is you actually want to go forward, put whatever leg you feel comfortable at on the front, put your arms up like this, and the position you want to do when you're going down, you need to do this. So you're going to be doing this in the middle of it. I'll do it, then I'll show you how to do it. So a cartwheel is like this. So that's how you do a cartwheel. But now I'm going to be showing you how to do a cartwheel. So like I said, whatever leg you feel comfortable. I'm a lefty. I write with my left hand. And I do cartwheels with my left leg. So I start like this. Then you need your hands to go down like this and push. Make sure you really push and chin down so it's more faster. Or you can do it slow if you're a beginner like this. And make sure to have very straight legs. Okay, so that was how to do a cartwheel. Now it is... Time to do a handstand. So a handstand is, I would say, easier than a cartwheel. I should have done this best. So a cartwheel is very basic. Um, all you have to do is the leg that you feel comfortable with. Put your arms up. You well before we get started on a handstand. Um, to practice, you need to do some bunny hops just to get used to going for um, going upside down if you've never done it before. So I would say just do 10 of those. All right, so I've done 10 of those. Now it's time for the proper thing, handstand. Okay, so once again, put your comfortable leg in the spot, arms up to the sky, and you go down and straight legs. Now, some tips on a handstand. You need to have straight legs, pointed toes, and that's pretty much all. And if you want to try and walk, I don't really know how to do this properly, but I can walk a bit like this. I'm not that good at walking on a handstand. So that's how you do a handstand. Moving on to a bend back. Lots of people do it like so you just, lots of people do it like this. They think that's how you do it, but it is okay if you're landing, but that's not the proper way of doing bend back. Oh, and also you can call it, you can call it bend back or bridge. Which way is easier for you to call it, but I call it bend back. That's how I was taught. All right, so moving into how to do a bend back, you need to lay down, arms by your side, and then you put your arms like this to the ground, legs up, so make sure your arms are on the ground before you put your legs up. Then you need to push up. So you really need some strength to do this bend back. So I would suggest you stretching out your arms first and then we'll move on to legs because you do need to be quite strong to actually put push yourself up then you can do some lunge lunges and then when you've done lots of stretches you can move on to doing the whole thing which is like this you can even make your legs straight or like this either of them are bend back they're both the proper way, so don't worry. 
All right, so that was how you do a bend back. Now we are moving on to doing a handstand into a bend back. Now, you need to be able to do a good handstand for this and a bend back. So, it, this is what it is. So first, the first step, you need to do a handstand. A straight leg handstand with pointed toes. And then you get yourself handstand and then you get yourself in to a bend back. Then you can stand up like I just did. So put it all together, then you have a handstand into a bend back like this. And then, yes, you can stand up if you want. And then that leads into doing a front walkover. If you don't know what that is, then I'll show you. Okay, so. Um, I'll show you then, um, I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so I'm gonna do it then, I'll show you. So like this. So it is quite hard, you need to be very good at gymnastics. You need to be, you need to be able to do a handstand to bend back and then stand up for this. And once again, you need to do lots of stretches of your legs, neck, and arms, and wrists for this. Okay, so once you've done lots of stretches, I don't really need stretches because I've been doing this for a long time. But if you need it, then you can do it. Pause the video and then you can do it. Okay, and then now what you have to do is a handstand, bend back, and then stand up. And then put that all together, it makes a, a front walkover. Moving on, we have a front handspring. This is the hardest skill, skill that I can do. It is very hard to do. You need to be a good gymnast to do this. Okay. So you need to do a front walk over, front walk over for this. So it's like a front walk over, but it's really faster. So I'll do it and then I'll show you how to do it. So it's like this. Kind of like a front flip, but your hands stay on the ground, why not stay? So how you do it is as soon as your hands touch the ground, you have to get them up and land like this. You can land like this, or this, or this. Either way, that's landing. But not this is landing. Okay, so how you do it? So, you go, as soon as the hands touch the floor, you need to spring up, and you need big muscles for this. So like I said, do some stretches, like I am doing now. Try and go into splits. I can't. I used to be able to, but I can't now. So, yes, do some stretches with your elbows. And then we have a front handspring, which is like this. Now, this is the very last skill. So to do a front handspring, so you're gonna be able to, you're gonna um, be, you have to do a front handspring to this for this one. So I don't know what this is called, but you do a front handspring, then a cartwheel added onto it. Okay, so it's like this. So I did a front handspring, then cartwheel. I'll show it to you again this way. You might not have seen me, but it's just a front hand turn cartwheel. So if you already know how to do a cartwheel, then yep, you can do that. And if you already know how to do a front hand turn, then you can do the whole thing. So that was all for today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and that's it for today. Bye!